Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we were playing around in engineering. Right, no power. Well, that's no good. Manually ignite the engines. Alright, well, it's telling us to go through the wrong door. That ain't no good. We've got ourselves a fancy new weapon, which we're actually hopefully going to have a bit of a play around with. Um, And I've got my... There we go. Now the um, <laughs> the trail is poking us in the right direction. Yep, so I've got my uh, macro keys working again. So all is good. So now it's going to be top tier expert playthrough. Honest. Ooh, another save station. You know what? We're going to take it. Because things are going to get a little bit hectic where we're going. Also, performance is tanking. Like, this game's now running, like, pretty badly. No idea why. Hello. Evening. Whoop. Okay. Oh, ooh. I see. Okay. So... That's fun. That's really fun. So that really is just like a giant... ...wall of plasma. I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. So, contact beam. Uh, we need to get some upgrades in that bad boy, because it's pretty much vanilla. But that's fine. Hmm, okay, let's spark these engines back up then, shall we? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there should be some goodies around here. I mean, you know, ah, huh, a node. I was about to say, uh, we can always buy some nodes if we have to, but I'd, I would rather find them, to be honest. But, you know, what else are we going to do with all this, uh, you know, mountains of cash? that we have and we are finding engine power failure replace power cell to Ooh. Begin ignition sequence there we go marker fragment i actually have been meaning to look those up but i haven't so far um but we will obviously get them all because we need to but um there is a pretty good kind of final end sort of scene where it says uh warning if you proceed this is a point of no return. So we do have that in this game, which is nice. Nice, got some more credits. So there is our battery. Get the battery down there. For later, for safekeeping. Yeah, I like my flamethrower. I do. My flamethrower is my main boy. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, we didn't get you stuck, did we? Yeah, we did. But that's fine. We're going to be replacing power cells. Don't you worry your uh, presumably pretty little head about it. Uh, can't rip that off. Oh, no. It's already been ripped off. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. More money. We do like money. Okay, did this guy actually pay up? Yeah, I guess he did. Um, I think that's pretty much everything here. Let's make sure that we have a good amount of access to everything we need. So there's the main engine system. I don't know what these pistons are here for, you know? It's kind of interesting. Let your tools do the talking. Yeah, don't you worry about that. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. And we shall certainly be letting our tools do the talking. Don't you worry about that. Now, I actually, funny enough, even though 
I can't remember if I played Dead Space 1 twice or if I just played it once. I can't honestly remember. But I vividly, vividly remember this room. It's one of the good fun battles that's stuck in my fragile little brain. Um, right, we've got one of you there. You there. Wait a minute, where's the... There it is. Okay. We need a nice little stockpile of weapons. You know, just in case. There we go. Stick you in that. Lovely. We are certainly standing by. We're waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Here it comes. There's one. Alright, let's light them up. Come on. Burn, you little monkey. There we go. You know what? Let's try that. Ooh, he's a spitter. We don't like spitters around these parts. I don't know how good that is. Okay, I mean, maybe it did some solid damage. I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Things are going moderately well at the moment, I think. Burn this son of a bitch. Huh? You like that? And you, crawling on the floor. Oh my god, this flamethrower. This flamethrower. This is where it's at. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Seriously, dude. Oh, look, he's getting a bit saucy. Alright. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that. This guy. That guy was reasonably strong. I say reasonably. Okay. That was a bit of fun action. We actually burnt through, I was, well, huh, I thought we burnt through a decent amount of flamethrower fuel there, but not really. Alright, now sadly, we can't get that back, which is unfortunate. Right, we've got some more cash. Make sure we've got everything we could possibly get out of these griblies. Gribbly motherfuckers. Give me your loot and your souls. Well, I guess I've already had your souls. So, you know. Alright. This machinery above my head does not really fill me with confidence. It seems uh, very dangerous and exposed. Yeah, if I'm being honest, if I'm nitpicking, I think this is probably a dangerous place to work. I'm just saying. I would definitely take out some kind of insurance policy if I was to work here. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Alright, let's go hit the push start button. Oh, there's our friend. There we go. You can go over there. Is there more? Nope, it's just random sounds. Hard to tell sometimes. Oh, I hope that's a good sound. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's a foot. Are we good? Well, we got his uh, spiky bit. Are we good? I guess so. That's the engine's fired anyway. 
Nice. Isaac, you did it. The Ishimura's moving again. No thanks to ever sabotage the fuck out of these engines. You bought us time to figure it out. Autopilot's taking us into geostationary orbit. Wait, you're flying us through the planet crack debris? That's what the asteroid defense system is for. Uh oh. But the GDS is offline. I've got the <gasps> readouts here. Hammond, the Ishimura's in rough shape. A couple of bad strikes could finish her off. Shit. Daniels, give me all the data you have. I'll try to adjust course. <laughs> Isaac, take the tram from engineering. Meet me on the bridge. I'll lift the station lockdown. We need to work on this together. Well, I guess we're done in engineering then. Alright. Now, let's keep our flamethrower handy. Because you never know when you're going to bump into something that's going to need a lick of flame. You know, like this fella here. Come on. There you go. Those guys are a little bit greedy. I imagine they're very dense, you know? Just like a human head. It's probably quite dense, you know. You'd assume. We're on our way, Nicole. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't worry your pretty little head about things. One thing at a time. Yeah, so I was looking up these performance problems that this game is having. All this stuttering. Apparently it happens on the consoles as well, so... Fingers crossed we'll get some kind of fix. Well, that was quick. Alright. On chapter four already? Dude, okay. We're like a third of the way through the game. So, oh, we've got a long way to go. We're going right to the other side of the ship. Let's ride. Well, I mean, potentially we still have quite a lot of this game left anyway, because we've got a lot of the infill, the side quests. Um, there is a good chunk of backtracking left and I'm perfectly okay with that there's there is one uh, side mission that I really didn't like well I don't know I don't I wouldn't go as far as saying I didn't like it that's a bit a bit extreme it just could have been more interesting and that is the one where we have to find all the different rigs I think it's like eight rigs that we need to find and they're there's pretty much one in every section. Now the good news is you can just find them accidentally, which is cool. All right. Isaac, I'm looking at the ADS cannons. They're a mess. I'm gonna need your help. I am not losing the Ishimura. Not now. The Ishimura cannon or the marker? That artifact they found. Don't bullshit. CEC knew all along about the marker, didn't they? Isn't that why you're really here? Corporate wouldn't send the Ishimura for some off-the-books mining. But alien technology, yeah, that fits. And how does losing my team fit into this theory? Hey, knock this shit off. We're into the debris field. We get the ADS back together, or it's over. Then meet me at the captain's nest. Daniels? Fine. But I'm going through the ship reports, Hammond. I'm getting some answers. Classic misdirection. You love to see it. Okay. Let's go. So, here we are on the bridge. This is where things uh, are all going down, apparently. Now, the ADS cannon is a massive thing that they changed in this game. Uh, if you remember in the original game, so we've got a level 2 there. It was essentially a uh, turret section and a really bad turret section at that as well. Yeah, it's not that this time around. Oh, hello. Is that you, Birkin? William! Ooh. Ooh, that. 
whatever it is, it got hit with a dose of the ugly stick. Jesus. That nasty. Alright, well, whatever. Not gonna cry about it. Okay. Let's see what we've got in the old store. Did we pick up anything good? Um, you know, if if we get 10 G's over 100 grand, we just get a buy a node. Uh, oh, we got the contact beam upgrade as well, which we need to slot in. That's fine. All right. All right, well, we just need to find a bench. Luckily, I don't think there's one that far away. Oh. That's bad. You okay? Oof. At least containment and life support are holding. So far. Yeah. Well, that was rough. Right, what have we got? Go back to the plasma cutter for now. So anyway, we're on the bridge. Oh, oxygen tank. More stuff to sell. We like that. I don't think we can grab any of this yet. Uh, level 3. Yeah. It's all high-end gear, that. Level 2. Well, I think that door's going <laughs> to take care of itself. What else we got? Goodies. Some force energy. Sure. More creds. What else? Actually, uh, I'm kind of tempted to refund everything on the line gun. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. That maybe the line gun just gets better when we've uh, fully upgraded it, which you know is a very distinct possibility. Security request retrieved. Security coming. We've been boarded. I repeat, the ship has been boarded. We are under attack. Most of the tech staff. Where the hell is Deep Benson? We need security backup now! Guns are useless. We... What in God's name is that? Guns are useless. Lady, I just don't think you're trying hard enough, to be honest. Guns, I can assure you, are not useless. You just need to try harder. Really? Anyway, let's go to the captain's nest. We're taking a lot of hits from debris. Isaac. Sorry. Shit. No, no, keep that rifle close. What is that? The one that attacked me. I managed to trap him in here. His face. I'm not seeing things, right? That's Chen. You can't help him, Hammond. He's You're right. I should the hell with it. I worked with him for years. Johnston too. At least you spared becoming a monster. We're gonna fix this, Hammond. For them. Yeah. Come on. The ADS cannons. Yeah, the ADS cannons. Alright. Well, it looks like these other escape, escape pods have been used. So that was the last escape pod we had, and you bundled him into that. I hope that doesn't come and bite us in the ass at some point. What's Captain been reading? A guide to Unitol. Oh dear. Captain, not you two. Administration systems aren't doing much. We could redirect power from there. I'd need to rewire the junction boxes, but we get the ADS cannons back. Good. Yeah, take admin offline. About what Daniel said. I don't know about any illegal mining or the market. I swear, I'm just here for a repair mission. Look, Hammond, I don't know you or Daniels well enough to judge, but CEC had to know about the marker. The company made Shit like that's above my pay grade. Look, we can get into it later. 
You'll need a way down to those junction boxes. You can turn the atrium elevators back on from security. You'll have full access. I found a CEC executive key card. I'll upgrade your clearance. Cheers, boss. Already? Yeah, just in case. You're a good man. You're a good man, Hammond. And Isaac? I heard something up there. Something big. Watch your back. Excellent. We like big things. Right, so, executive clearance authorization. Recipient, uh, CEC Executive Director, Warren Eckhart. Authorized by Captain B. Matthias. This rig code permits the recipient, Warren Eckhart, exclusive access aboard the USG Ishimura until such time as it's revoked by Captain B. Matthias. Please secure your rig and do not allow others access to restricted areas. Separate codes must be attained for any staff members. Comments. Yep, alright, buddy. I got it. I heard you the first 38. 38 times um, text log so priority message uh, to Captain B. Matthias from Dr. T. Kine subject more time Benjamin further to our recent conversation I'm putting it in writing that we should delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two you know how eager I am to study the marker and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony but that's exactly my reasoning. What's happening down there is just too unprecedented to act uh, incautiously. We need time. Hammond, please. Uh, to act incautiously, we need to study the cause and effect. Uh, after consulting with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet Dr. Sarkelio and Wayland, Planetside. Their observations on particular patients, on a particular patient, may be invaluable to the understanding of what we're dealing here. Terence, hmm, wonder what patient that is. So, we're now level two, which is good. And we have this crew rig thing, which we cannot get. You going? Just getting prepped. Can you prep on the way? Those asteroids aren't waiting. All right, I'm going, Jesus. So we need all the crew reg, uh, crew rigs to activate that. Once we activate that, we will have every single um, code to every door. It gives us the master skeleton key, so to speak. The master access. So let's get going. Yeah, so that's... That's probably the longest um, side mission. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you know, it's okay. Right. Let's drop a save. And keep going. So, something big skulking around out here, is it? Alright, well, level 2 clearance. Here we go. Should recognize this bit. Oof. He's a big boy, isn't he? We've got a nice brute. Now, I don't know, but personally, I think they made brutes much easier in this version. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, and I thought this when I played this um, first time through, they were never that easy, were they? I mean, maybe they were. Whatever, I guess. But yeah, I I thought they were a little bit tougher than that. But hey ho. Right. So we'll have you. We've got a. Hey, we've got a bench here. Oh, video log. Nice. No, nope, I wanted the bench, not the video log. But whatever. Right, contact beam. Let's have a fiddle with the contact beam. So we can do the capacity. Speed. Oh, that's interesting. Can we not... Hmm. Increases the size of the secondary fire's projectile. 
Okay, so I'm guessing we can't seem to do the damage up on the contact beam, which means it's probably going to stay competitive for a while. So, on that end, let's... I don't know what the duration means. Does that is that the duration of the second secondary mode or well whatever let's upgrade the flamethrower completely and then once we've upgraded the flamethrower as much as we can anyway then we'll start work on the contact beam okay so I was just um, concerned see we can get the damage done on the line gun again and greatly increases the laser trap. Yeah, so, okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe that will become monstrous when it's fully upgraded. We'll see. But the flamethrower is just my, my, my baby, so. It's on the record, Doctor. This is mutiny. The marker must be delivered to the church, whatever the cost. God's sakes, Ben, listen to yourself. The issue morals in crisis, you've cut us off. By Maritime Law Article 5469, I, Dr. Terence Kine, hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. Heretic! Hold on. <laughs> Heresy! Yourself. Let me help you. Traitors, get your hands off me! This is my ship! <sighs> oh my god, he's. You. Ben. You saw I was trying to help him. Doctor, you. You just killed the captain. We have to take you in. Can't. If the others from the church get a hold of me. So Oof. Yeah, that went bad. So I guess old Dr. Kine can now be the scapegoat for everything that went wrong. Oof. Not great. So we tried to restrict the good doctor, and instead he got his eye poked in. Well, I hate it when that happens. Anyway, uh, before we do too much more, uh, we're going to be very quickly out of time. So I'm going to go save it, guys. We're going to call it a video. When we come back, we're going to go up the elevators and we're going to start trying to get the ADS system online because that kind of seems like an important thing to do right now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.